It's easy to ride freight trains in Indonesia. In Java, yeah. There's not that many. Tra I mean, there's only trains in Java, and there's a little bit in Sumatra. But... Bro, I don't have any more salty trains. Yeah, it's pretty easy. You don't, do people, people don't, don't do it in Australia, do they? Because of they, a, long... few, a few people do, but hardly anybody. People did it in like the 30s and 40s, and we have some friends that do it there now. But the trains in Australia, they're it's like Europe. It's all like a, it's like the electric, the overhead, like electric, ele like a. It's not the diesel engines, it's like electric, you know, so they go from like zero to 60 in just a couple seconds. Oh. But I rode trains in Western Australia where they still have diesel trains, but the, re the rest of the country is tired. There's not that many rideable cars, man. It's really, I know people that do it and they had a lot more success than me, but it's not that many rideable cars, but you, you, you can do it, but. I'd be afraid of getting on the wrong train and it going out into the middle of nowhere. And there's only like a out in the outback or something. Yeah, but there's only you, uh, water. You, you, you can't really fuck up because there's only there's only a couple of routes, man. There's only like seven cities in the whole country, mm -hmm. so there's not like it's not like here where there's like so many different train lines. There, it's mm -hmm. just like you've got east and west, and you have north and south, and like you don't. There's not a lot of train lines. Do I mean, they do crew changes like every eight hours too? I don't know about every eight hours, but yeah, they do crew changes for okay. sure. But I know, like, I didn't, I didn't ride super long distance there. I rode, I mean, I rode some trains in the, in the iron ore belt and in the grain belt, I rode some trains. I tried to catch a train from like Melbourne to Sydney a couple times, but I couldn't catch anything rideable. And then my visa ran out and I had to leave. But I know people that did it like later on and stuff, they were able to catch a train. So it's all but, junk, no hot shots? No, there's hot shots, but there's just not like, there's like, it's like the, like with, like not with the not with floors. It's Whatever. just like like what we were talking about earlier. Like just yeah. the like the the, the hotshot buckets, but no um like no like no no floor. So you just gotta kind of hang on. And I didn't want to do that. But I got caught. I was riding this train. It was the it's it's, it's like the longest train in the world, in the in the iron ore range. It's like a two mile two mile long train or something like That's two two hundred fifty cars, in it. It, tra it transports because that's like the biggest iron ore uh, mines in the world. And the, the Australians, like they ship, they ship all the fucking iron ore. It, go it goes on a train to, the, to, this, to this port city in Western Australia. It's not a city, it's just like this port town. And they, and they ship it pro probably to Indonesia or someplace. I don't know, they, they ship it somewhere in Asia to get processed because it's cheaper to process the ore in Asia. And then they send it back as, as, as steel. And, uh, and so I was riding, or, or iron, so I was riding this, this train, but it was empty and it was going back like into the fucking desert and it was like hundred and like 110 degrees or some shit. And I, I was completely out of water. It was a two day train ride. And I was, I was, I was inside this hopper, but there was no ladder on the inside. There's a ladder on the outside and it was like a 12 foot drop on the inside. So I was on this, Jeez. I was on this floor with no fucking ladder and no water and no way out. Like I could, I could see, but I couldn't get out at all. How did you get out? Well, I got out because when it, after two days the train stopped in the middle of the fucking desert, and I could see, I could see like it was like the mine in front of me, and there's all this like big like huge equipment and everything, and uh, but it was like way in the distance, and uh, I was like fuck, like, how am I gonna get off this train? Like it's impossible. I can't, like I can't, I can't jump twelve feet, you know. Right. And uh, I kept trying, and I was just like, I couldn't do it. And then finally, like, I, I, like, I like stood on my backpack. I kept trying and falling out. And finally, like, I stood up on my backpack, and I was able to fi like, finally like, reach the lip of the car. And I got, like, I got off the train, but my backpack was still in the, ball, in the car. Like, everything I owned was in that, in that backpack. And then uh, there's all these, like, all these rocks, like, about like this big. So I started picking up the rocks and like, throwing them into the train. And, uh, and then, and then I uh, ended up like, I thought if I climbed back in and I like stood on the rocks, mm -hmm. I could like get my backpack off, you know? Mm -hmm. So I, so I did that and it like, it took a long time, but it finally worked, but I was so thirsty cause I didn't have any water. And then I just started walking and there was uh, I got up to like where the, like where the mine was and there's a bunch of like, Auss like Aussie rednecks that were operating equipment. And I was like covered in iron ore dust and it's fucking filthy and I had a bandana on. And the guys like got out of the equipment and they're just like, what the fuck, man, you know? And I, I thought they were gonna beat my ass, but then they heard my accent and they just started cracking up and they asked like where I was coming from and I told them <laughs> and they're just like, and then I was like, okay, I know I have to fucking lie. And they're like, they're like, you know, that's illegal, right? And I was like, what? Like I do this all the time in America. I didn't know it was illegal. I had no fucking idea, you know? And then, uh, 
when they, 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 they brought me into the mining camp. There was like probably 10 guys or something in the camp. They brought me in there and like bought me a bunch of beer and bought me food and stuff. And they were like, they were cracking up. They thought it was like the funniest thing ever that I fucking rode it because they'd never seen anybody ride a train in there. And then uh, it was like three hours to the closest town. And they're like, yeah, we, we fucking hate to tell you, but like we have, like we have to call the cops. Like we don't really want to because we think it's funny, but but this is all like private and like we have like the town's three hours away so we're gonna have to call the cops just to get you an escort to get yeah. into town you know yeah, yeah. and they're like here have another beer we're really sorry i like, hope you don't get in trouble yeah and then uh, and then the cops had to drive out there and they uh, yeah they, they they drove me to town i didn't get arrested or anything i'm sure yeah. what just, did they say uh, they just lectured me and I just lied and said I didn't know it was illegal. You know? <laughs> then, yeah. But the, 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 the fucking the guy that like the, the, the main the main guy in that in that camp and uh cause they would they would work like two weeks on and then two weeks they would, you know, fly back to Sydney or Melbourne or whatever city they were from, you know. And a couple months later I was in I was in Melbourne and I was going back to this punk house and I was on the I was on the light rail. But it's like a it's like an honor system. It's like here in Portland, you know, they they check sometimes, and if you don't have your ticket, then you got to pay a fine. But most of the time, they don't check. And I was on the light rail, and this this fucking big huge guy was like staring at me, and I had a bicycle with me too, and I didn't pay for the for the light rail, and the guy's like staring at me and staring at me, and I I thought it was like some undercover cop that was gonna mm-hmm. that was gonna bust me for not paying. I'm like, oh shit, and uh, he's like he's like you don't recognize me, do you? And I was like, no. And he's just like regular clothes and stuff, and. But it was it was a dude from the uh, from that mining camp. Uh-huh. Guy that was like giving me all this beer, and he was like on his he was on his two week break in Melbourne and recognized me. What? And, uh, crazy. He was just, and he was laughing and stuff. And... That's awesome. But yeah, that was that was a cool train ride. Dude, I would have been scared if I was out of water and I was in a twelve foot, like. That sounds terrifying. Yeah, I would have been. I hate that feeling of being trapped like that. Yeah, but you get scared watching poltergeists, so. Yeah. I mean. That clown is pretty scary, though. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I watched poltergeists when I was really yeah, little. I mean, the all theater. clowns are kind of scary. I was really. The whole thing was yeah. fucking scary, dude. Yeah. That's, That's not scary. That movie's fucking That's scary when you're a little kid.